Hi! Today I will talk about a device that will upgrade your camera. About its advantages and disadvantages. I will show examples and make comparisons. This is a Chinese speed booster Canon EOS Micro Four Thirds for manual focus lenses. It differs from a regular adapter in that it has a converging lens that reduces the crop factor and makes the image look like a full frame. Yes, I said full frame. Because the crop is reduced to about 1.42 and this is less than on APS-C cameras. I said, approximately, because there is no list of characteristics for my speed booster. Not on AliExpress, not on the box. But similar devices from more well-known brands have a reduction factor of 0.71. We multiply 2 by 0.71 and get a crop of 1.42. In order not to be unfounded, let's compare two photos taken from a tripod and with the same lens. The first one was taken on an Olympus OM DEM-10 Mark III with a speed booster, and the second on a camera with a crop factor of 1.6 Canon 500D. Due to the different aspect ratios of the matrices, we will view photos in a 16 to 9 ratio. It can be seen that the field of view is wider on the Olympus. And this is how the photos will look in full size. By the way, if you noticed, I use Helios 44 M5 with M42 thread. It is put on the speed booster through the adapter M42 Canon EOS. Now let's compare a photo with a speed booster and with a regular adapter. The photos were taken with the same settings. It can be seen that the speed booster greatly expanded the angle of view, and the exposure also increased. To get the same exposure, I had to lower the ISO to 320. And now I brought the camera closer so that the object in the frame becomes the same as in the photo with the adapter. And I again had to lower the ISO to 250. With the same framing, the speed booster increases the light transmission by almost one stop. The background also changes and the depth of field decreases. As I said earlier, the image in character becomes closer to the full frame. And now a more visual bokeh test. I put a bottle with a garland at a distance of 30 centimeters from the toy and shot it from one angle. It can be seen that in the photo with the speed booster, the bokeh balls are larger. Similar comparisons I repeated on the street. First removed from one place. Then I moved closer so that the model was the same size. Here we can immediately compare the sharpness. The Jupiter 9 lens at open aperture has always had problems with this. On the crop, these problems can be seen even better. After all, lenses for crop cameras should be optically much better than full frame ones. And the speed booster allows you to capture an image from a larger area of the lens, similar to a large matrix. The result is a clearer image. Some of the portraits taken with the Helios 44 M5 are even too sharp and need to be retouched. But is everything so good? Is it really possible to buy a cheap micro four-thirds camera and shoot like a full frame? During testing, I found one serious flaw that I had not paid attention to before. When using a speed booster, there is much more glare from side flares, which spoil the picture very much.
Therefore, you need to use a lens hood or avoid bright light sources. These flares look very characteristic and now I understand that this is not a feature of the Zenit IR lens, but a feature of its use with a speed booster. It is also worth noting that you can only use it with lenses for SLR cameras. You won't be able to use it with rangefinder or C-mount lenses due to the short flange focal distance. And the last drawback is the constantly unscrewing bolt for fixing. I've lost it in my bag several times already. All in all, this is a great piece for enthusiasts on a low budget. I took a lot of cool shots with it. But the speed booster is not a panacea. It is not capable of replacing a full frame. It's worth remembering this. And do not forget to recalculate the focal length of the lens for the correct operation of the matrix stabilization. It is necessary to multiply the focal length of the lens by a factor of 0.71. And it remains for me to wish you good shots. I hope my video was helpful for you. If so, then put likes and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss a lot of interesting things.